and entertainment today? I mean, just so the fact that there are more than one or two of us on the carpet being interviewed by API, there's, there's nothing that, I think this is the culmination of all the years of hard work, those days of us, us just bearing down and making sure we get the work done, and those moments where you feel lonely for the longest time, that's all that was for this. And, and it's liberating. I love that answer, that's amazing. So tell me about your recent project with Netflix and how it's felt, you know, representing Asian Americans on the big screen, um, uh, showing that representation among everyone at home. You know, I, I feel like sometimes we think about those things when we're doing the project, but I think a lot of times as actors, we don't think about necessarily the, you know, the representation as much because you're just playing a role. You're being in that character. And then it hits you afterwards. When the project comes out, when you're seeing it, when you're seeing the comments, the, the um, I guess the buzz, right? And you don't really think about those things. And what's great is before, I feel like each AAPI actor has at some point felt where they felt the burden of everybody, of all the AAPI in the world. But we are not everybody, right? And I think now, because there are so many out there, we're able to kind of relax a little bit and just work into our characters and not worry too much about everything because just because my character doesn't represent you in a certain way, right? Somebody else's will. And I think that's the beauty of where we're going right now. That's, that's the path that we're leading to. Just seeing like a familiar face, like someone that you can identify with, even if it's not representing specifically who they are as a person, and having roles that are more than just, you know, ninja and math teacher and whatever stereotypes you know like being like the love interest being the funny person being something else you know besides the stereotypical asian asian role that we had 10 years ago you know of course no shade to math teachers because that actually was my plan before i got into acting oh, okay. yeah. well, actually that leads to my next question you know obviously as asian americans our parents taught us to be math teachers doctors lawyers that kind of stuff what gave you the bravery to step outside of that usual path that we are taught leads to success and going into entertainment. You know what? I mean, I've always wanted, I love math. So I know that's very stereotypical, but to me, when I first moved to America, I didn't speak English and I spoke math. So I understood that language. And that was the one thing that like I could work on in school and was easy to me. It came easy. So math was my safe zone for a while. Uh, so I wanted to show, because I know a lot of kids hated math, I wanted to become a teacher that could show kids how math was fun in a certain way. Um, but of course, like, you know, my parents wanted me to do accounting, but I was like, hey, I'll do math, but I'll be a math teacher. On my own terms, you know? So I was already very like, this is what I want. I'm gonna do it this way. But then I started slowly getting into the world of acting and the acting bug bit me, you know, and I was like, all right, I got to make the switch because as an actor, I can influence, you know, my classroom. But as an actor, I can influence so much more, I think. I think there's more of a reach there. Absolutely, I love that answer. Well, thank you so much. Hope you have a beautiful night. And uh, yeah, congrats on all your success. I will, I will. <laughs>